Today we are going to see the demultiplexer IC 74154. It is 4 to 16 line demultiplexer. This IC has 24 pins. In this side, pin 1 to 11 are the output and in this side, pin 13 to 17 are the output. These outputs are active low. It means whenever the pin get activated, the voltage level of the pin will be low and whenever it is deactivated, the voltage level of the pin will be high. And to use this pin in other circuit, in some cases, we have to connect NOT gate with this output pin. Pin 18 and 19 are the input pin and these two pin are G1 and G2. If any one of this pin get high then all the output pins will be high. So in general we connect this two pin to the ground and the other four pins that is 20, 21, 22 and 23. These four pins are also input and these are binary input. It will be A, B, C, D. It is LSB and this pin is MSB. With pin 12 to the ground and with the pin 24 we connect plus 5 volt. This is 74154. To do the practical, we will connect this output pin with LED. This G1 and G2, I will connect this two pin with two wires which will be connected to the ground and with these four input pins, I will connect a switch with an LED. And we must connect pull down resistor with this input pin. This is output 0, Q0, Q1 and like this, it is Q10. Q11, Q12, Q13, it is output 14 and output 15. So from Q0 to Q15 are the output. This is IC74154. From pin 20 to 23, this will be the same connection for all these 4 pin. Let's say I am connecting for 23 and with this pin 23 we have to connect a push button switch and other pin of the switch will be connected to the plus 5 volt and with this we have to connect 10 kilo ohms pull down resistor and we will connect an LED so that whenever the switch get turned on then the LED will glow up. The value is 220 ohms. So we need 4 of them, 4 switches, 4 pieces of 220 ohm, 4 pieces of 10 kilo ohms and 4 LED like this. You can connect switch with G1 and G2 but for now I am connecting this both pin to the ground. Now from pin 1 to pin 17 we have to connect a resistor and an LED and the negative pin of the LED will be connected to the ground. If you connect in this way then whenever the pin gets activated then the LED will be turned off and whenever the pin gets deactivated then the LED will glow up. The value is 220 ohms. So we need this set 16 piece and this set we need 4 pieces. We have 4 input and 16 output. With pin 24 we will connect plus 5 volt and with pin 12 we will connect this pin to the ground. It is ground pin. Now we will see the practical. This is the IC 74154. I am putting it here. Putting the input switches. Here it is A, B, C and D. One pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. Pin 24 of the IC is connected to the plus 5 volt. Pin 12 is connected to the negative. I am connecting the pull down resistor with pin 20, 21, 22 and 23.
putting the 220 ohms resistor for the output LED. One pin of the resistor is connected to the ground. With the resistor, we have to connect the negative pin of the LED. The output LEDs are connected. One more we have to connect. Now it is 16 LED. Now with the switches, we have to connect the input LED. Positive pin of the LED is connected to the switch. And with the negative pin, 220 ohms resistor is connected. Pin 20, it is A, that is MSB, 21, it is B, 22, it is C, and 23, it is D. Pin 23, it is LSB. Input connection is completed. Connecting the two switches, G1 and G2. Now for now, I am connecting both the pin to the ground. Now we have to connect the output LEDs. Here is Q0 and it should be connected to the LED 1. Q1, second LED, pin 3 to the third LED, pin 4 to fourth LED, So this is how we have to connect them all. Now we have to connect all the positive and negative rails. This positive to positive. Here is positive to positive rail. Negative to negative rail. Negative to negative. Okay, so this is how we have completed the connection. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt. Here it is 5 volt positive. 5 volt negative. Now the input is 0000, that's why Q0 is activated. Activated means the LED will be low and deactive means LED will be high. It is 1, 2, third LED, 3 means fourth LED and like this it will work. If the input is 1 1 1 1 then Q15 is now coming to the G1 and G2 if any one of this pin get high then all the output will be high for some application we need this function or otherwise you have to connect this pin to the ground now to see it better we have to connect the LED in opposite direction now what I'll do is I'll change the polarity of the LED and we have to connect positive supply to the resistor. Now see, the input is 0000, the first LED is glowing up, that is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q3, Q4 and Q15. Some other application we have to do in this way. Now see this clock. I have connected this clock in this way. This is just an example project on 74154. The video link in the description below. So guys, this is the basic thing we need to know about 74154. By using this, you can design your own circuit. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.